The purpose of this presentation is to help you engage an audience's interest by establishing exigence or urgency and importance in your introduction. To begin with, always ask yourself, so what, so that you will think about the purposefulness of your writing. What will your reader gain from reading your writing? What purpose will the reader achieve in reading it? Always also ask yourself who cares so that you will think about who you are trying to engage. Who is your reader? What are this reader's interests? How can you best convey the purpose you are trying to achieve to this particular reader? If you think about these questions, you can establish exigence for your reader. Exigence means urgency. When an idea is urgent, it is more interesting and engaging. What is more interesting to you? A lab report about a slightly more effective way of measuring chemical reactions or an essay arguing for going to war with another country before that country attacks us. But as boring as that lab report might sound, I assure you that any topic or information or argument can be conveyed in a way that creates urgency and thus interest for the reader. Here are a few strategies for establishing exigence. First, describe a problem, context, or solution. Second, state an alarming or concerning fact. Third, explain the need for more research and knowledge. Lastly, describe a debate or controversy surrounding the topic. This is an example of describing a problem, context, or solution. I'll give you a moment to read it. In this example, the writer is stating a commonly held view and then contradicting it. The writer is also arguing that negative consequences will result from making a decision based on this misconception. Obviously, this is a big problem. This is an example of stating an alarming or concerning fact. These happen to be statistics, but you could use other types of facts. In each example, the writer is trying to surprise, if not shock, the reader by introducing some unknown alarming information. This information makes the reader want to know more. Why is this? What can be done about it? Here are a couple examples of explaining the need for more research and knowledge. In each example, the writer is making the lack of knowledge clear. Generally speaking, most academic readers want to be well informed, so identifying a lack of knowledge about a topic can generate some interest. Lastly, debates and controversies are inherently interesting because there are opposing sides and viewpoints. If you are writing about a topic that is debatable, then you may want to describe the different sides of the debate as a way of setting up or framing your thesis. I will give you a moment to read this example. In this example, the writer summarizes the views and supporting reasons of each group, creating interest through describing a controversial debate. Then the writer could state his or her position in the debate and support why he or she is taking it. To sum up, establishing the urgency of the information or argument makes that information or argument more engaging and interesting for the reader. Describing problems, alarming facts, gaps in knowledge, or debates are just some of the more common and effective strategies for establishing exigence or urgency in the reader's mind. You can and probably will think of other ways to do so, but if you don't, even if you don't remember these strategies or what exigence means, just remember that you have to tell your reader why he or she should care about your writing.